me, Jane Quimby. My life is a little complicated right now. I landed my fashion dream job working for her, Ray Chandler Murray. The only problem? They think I'm an adult. Now I'm juggling two secret lives, one in high school and one in high fashion. Do you trust India? I just think she's a little shady. I'm afraid we have to say goodbye. I hope you're happy. You did this to yourself, India. You got the wrong person. All right, fellas, here's how it's going down. Are you robbing this place, Tommy? Let's go, let's go. A couple of months at Newhall Youth Detention might give Mr. Nutter ample time to think about those mistakes and their implications. I saw her with Nick. They were kissing Janie. That's not what you think. Don't. Just let me... I can't talk to you. And you really deserve perfect guy, Rachel. You are perfect. I really have no idea how to say this, so I'm just going to say it. It's you, Janie. That guidance counselor of yours is going to come down on you hard. You know how Miss Shaw can be. Ben, it's a little weird that you call your girlfriend Miss Shaw. Oh, you mean Rita? Hey, are you really that busy? Yes. And no. I'm nervous, Ben. Two months is a long time. What if Billy's different? What if he doesn't want to see me? Jane, he was in a juvenile detention center, not a brainwashing camp. You'll be the first person he wants to see. Besides, why would anything be different with you two? Well, the thing is, I might not have told you everything that happened that night at the fashion show. See, when Billy showed up, he sort of... Well, he... I am waiting. Bated breath over here. He said something. And would you like to tell me what that something was exactly? He said, it's you. It's you? Yeah. Oh, boy. What? Uh, then what happened? Well, then Jeremy came in, and I didn't know what to do, and then Billy ran out, and the next morning he got sent away, and for the past two months it's been playing on a loop in my head. It's you, it's you, it's you. What do you think that it means? Uh, well, I may be totally off base here, but did you ever think he might have meant it romantically? No. No, 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 okay. no, no. I did think that for a second, but I don't think that's it. But I guess it can't be. I don't know, maybe it is. I don't know. Would that be so weird? Well... <laughs> He's my best friend, and I don't want to run the risk of ruining that, right? I can't answer that. Then what good are you? Just go pick up Billy, and you two will figure it out. You know why? Because you guys are like this. You can figure out anything. I sure hope so. I am a weary soldier, soldier for you. So? So? Is it scary? 
Were the guards mean? Did you make any friends? How was the food? I mean, did you get Jane, to watch TV? Look, it wasn't an Alcatraz or anything, okay? It just, um, uh, I'd rather talk about something else, okay? Okay. Maybe we should talk about, you know... Yeah, you. So what about you? What's been going on with that whole super secret double life of yours since I've been away? Nothing, really. How's Jeremy? Jeremy? Yeah, you guys are together, right? No, we've never been together. He doesn't even know that I'm in high school. And we work together. I could never do that. Speaking of work, how was it? Well, things have been crazy ever since India got fired and Gray has been using me for everything. It's nuts. And she's been through at least a dozen people to fill India's job. Oh, that's a lot of people. Tell me about it. And you should see the stuff that she's having me do. I can't even believe it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love being creatively involved at Donovan Decker. You okay? Yeah, let's just say I'm not exactly stoked to be back here again. And this place clearly feels the same way about me. Don't worry about him. And, uh, Billy. Yeah? Are we okay? I mean, shouldn't we, I don't know, talk or something? You've been talking nonstop ever since we got in the car, Jane. Great. Um, I mean about... We're good. Yeah. There's nothing for us to talk about, okay? Unless you want to talk about that. You have got to be kidding me. Yep. Lulu and Nick. They've been an item ever since we left school. Looks like it's just back to being the two of us. Yeah, the two of us. To be honest, I'm a little disappointed. Disappointed? I'm just surprised, that's all. This progress report does not reflect the academic performance of the Jane Quimby that I know. Your grades are slipping in every class but ceramics. Well, that's good, right? Your brother got an A in ceramics. Ouch. And it's not just your grades, your attendance last month? Let's just say it was less than perfect. I know, I'm sorry. This internship is interfering with your life. Your grades aren't what they used to be. You have multiple tardies and absences, and that just can't happen. I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm not just looking off into the future for my dream job. I mean, I'm already here. This is my life. It's just an internship, Jane. It's not. I'm working with designers and i'm being exposed to this whole world of fashion that you can't learn in a classroom i'm living it every day I and mean, you can't buy that kind of experience you know fine but i need to see some real changes because if this doesn't improve i can't sign off on the internship program for you next semester especially if you're not wait are you texting someone right now uh, a what? No, I am just typing a reminder to myself to shape up in school. Stat. I promise I'll get things back on track at school. You have my word. Sorry. I know this may sound harsh, but you've been an incredible disappointment, Sally. Susie, your work has been lackluster. Your ideas? Well, you simply have none. In your time here at Donovan Decker, you've yet to show any real promise. But I've only been working here for two days. Two days too many, I'm afraid. You're fired. That'll be all. What? That's five this month, Greg? Okay. Well, it's been harder to replace India than I might have realized. Well, perhaps if you just... But I'm not worried. I have a new prospect in mind. Someone young and unexpected. Someone not boxed in by years of a design experience. You don't mean... You're not talking about... I have to go. My next appointment's here. Oh, hi. Hi. Martin. Great, darling. So, classic, clean, powerful. It's a whole new delicious look to match your title of creative director. What do you think? Do you like it? I'm afraid I don't. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, darling. You're a genius. <laughs> Thank you, Carter. 
Girl, how many hats is Bray have you wearing right now? More than you own. I doubt that. <laughs> Am I the only one that's twice as busy since India left? I think we're all starting to feel the pressure, but you more than anyone. Because whenever Gray says jump. I say over whom and in pumps or flats. Just really hope this new girl works out. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. What can I do for you, muffin? That's a no on kissing at work and the whole muffin thing. Yeah, I know. I didn't, didn't quite feel right coming out. I need the kids here to respect me, Ben. We need to be professional. Got it. We're on the same page. So what's up? I had a conversation with Jane this morning. I'm just a little concerned. Don't worry. She's good with it. With what? With us dating. No, Ben. I'm concerned about Jane. I just got her progress report, and she's falling behind. I think this internship is just too demanding on her, don't you? Actually, I kind of think it's been good. But I promise I'll make sure she stays focused on school. You know why? Because your love life depends on it? Bingo. I know you've all been working tremendously hard lately. But you are going to have to work tremendously harder. Donovan Decker has been selected to collaborate on a capsule collection with one of the world's most famous luxury department stores, Harrods. That is, unless we blow it. And we cannot blow it. Understood? Okay. Didn't I fire you? No. Oh. See me in my office afterwards. The style director assigned to oversee our Herod's collection will be coming by tomorrow. Now, can anyone tell me what is our number one priority? Carter. Um, to impress the style director and ensure Herod's is confident that Donovan Decker has what it takes? Precisely. Now, I need all hands on deck for the next two days. No exceptions. Is that clear? If that's clear, then walk away and get back to work. Now! Can I tell she's around? Well, as long as Gray doesn't see, because apparently we are all supposed to be working tremendously harder than we were before, whatever that means. Did you hear that she fired Sally? Do you mean Susie? Right. Oh my gosh, I'm turning into Gray, aren't I? Not Jane. that that would be a bad thing. I just Jane! What? I'm going to tell you something. I need you not to react, okay? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm serious, Jane. Okay. Gray's giving you India's old job. What? Me? No reaction. Job, I am so not ready for that. Then you best get ready. Toast is ready. Wait, you're actually considering this? No. Yes? I don't know. I mean, taking India's old job would be the opportunity of a lifetime. How could I say no? What's wrong? Nothing. I... I just... You'd really consider leaving here? Just leaving school behind? Maybe. Why? No reason. Talk to me, Billy. No, I'm good. Oh, you're good? Is that right? Yeah, it is. 
fine, whatever. Well, so now you're mad at me. Yeah, I am. I feel like you've been shutting me out about everything. What is going on with you? And how can I help if you won't even talk to me? What do you want to talk about? For starters, how about the fashion show? You ran out before we could even have a conversation. It was nothing, Janie. Nothing. That's your story. Look, I was in a bad place. I was getting sent away. That's it. There's nothing for us to talk about. Okay, things are different now. I'm different. Now tell me about it. What is that supposed to mean? It means you have changed. And if you ask me, it's not for the better. Hmm. I didn't ask you, Jane. Fine, then be that way. I will. Well, then do it. I said I will. Well, what was that about? I don't know, Ben. Maybe I took your advice and I tried to talk to him about the whole it's you thing and maybe it backfired. Sorry about that. I'm worried about Billy. It can't be easy for him to fall back into his old life here. Well, maybe you could help him find something positive to focus on. Such as? I don't know, maybe an activity or something? Like mathletes or chess club? I'm being serious, Rita. So am I. Come on. Chess? Mathletes? What, do you want him to be more of an outcast? Those are terrible clubs. I was in those clubs, Ben. And you were adorable doing it. Shoot. Vice Principal Jenkins, what a surprise to see you in the hall at school where we work. Hey, Rita. What are you naughty kids up to this fine morning? <laughs> naughty? Why would you even... We are... Were. We were just talking. That is all. I said mop. And I'll stop talking now. Good idea. Good morning, Jenkins. Good morning, Rita. And... Ben. That was close. No, that was awkward. Really awkward. What's gotten into you? You said you want to keep it professional at work, right? I think he knows. Knows what? About you and me, of course. How would he know that, Ben? <laughs> Are you kidding? We ooze chemistry. Don't say ooze. Hi. Hi. How are you, Billy? Oh, you know how it is. I'm just trying to get my bearings back. That's good. Yeah. So what's been going on with you? Sorry, stupid question. So you and Fadden, huh? How's that one working out for you? To be honest, I thought it was going pretty well. That is, until you got back. I thought I could forget about us, but... but... Th there is no more us, Lou. But I really do hope things between you and Nick work out because you deserve it. Precipitating. Excuse me? Your calcium's starting to form a precipitate. You should dry out the crystals. Oh, um, thanks. Busy, huh? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna cut me any slack here, are you? Maybe. But just a little. Okay. Yes, I deserve that. I'm really sorry, Jane. For what it's worth, I made a big mistake. Huge, in fact. And I regret it. It's fine. <laughs> really, I'm just distracted. And you know what? I, I think it all worked out for the best. You and Lulu seem very happy. Yeah. The thing is, I re... Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just... Um... Oh, I, uh... I have to go. Oh, yeah. Thanks. You want to see me, Ben? Good hands. Good hands. Thanks. First day back. How are you doing? I'm fine, Ben. Oh, I get it. This must be the part where you ask me how I'm adjusting. Nah, I just thought, now that you're back, you might want to hit the ground running. Find a positive outlet. For what? I don't know. Something to keep you busy. Focus your energy. Such as... How about... Football. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, you got a pair of hands on you. I mean, you're... a little bit stringy, but you're probably very elusive. Hard to tackle. Baseball? 
Oh my, are you kidding me right now? Why not just give it a shot? Look, Ben, I appreciate you trying to help reacclimate me or whatever it is you're trying to do here, but uh, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm not really the team sport type. Are you sure you're doing okay? I'm fine. Because Jane told me about... Do you really want to do this, Benjamin? I'd like to. I'd prefer if we didn't. Excuse me, coming through. Hi, guys. I have to leave school because of an emergency at work and Rita can't know under any circumstances because then I would lose my internship and that can't happen. So I really need you guys to help me out, okay? Can you cover for me? No, I don't way. think so. What? Look, I know that you're mad at me and that you don't really like to do this sort of thing, but um, can you just cover for me? Maybe like a cold, cramps, anything? Uh, I, I don't like lying to Rita. It's just a teeny tiny little white lie. And that's how it all starts. That's mm -hmm. correct. Fine. I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. Actually, a little lost. Oh, well, maybe I can uh, point you in the right direction. Who are you delivering those to? <laughs> you think I'm a flower delivery guy? I did a second ago, but now I'm a little unsure. Uh, they're for Grace Chandler Murray. Oh, oh, great. I'm Grace's assistant, Jane, so I can just take those uh, to I'd her. I'd rather give them to her myself, if that's okay. Uh, the thing is, Grace's not exactly the hand delivery type. Well, what type is she? She's more of a don't bother me with that kind of crap type, so if you're not the flower delivery guy, who are you? Eli, I, I have an appointment with Gray. Uh, today? No, it's uh, tomorrow. I just thought I'd get here a little early in case I got lost. Why would you get here a whole day? Oh, that was a joke. It's funny. Uh, you didn't laugh. Well, it wasn't laugh out loud funny. Uh, the thing is, Greg doesn't have any appointments today. Uh, well, she called me directly. Greg called you on the phone. Yeah, crazy, right? So what is this appointment about? Uh, something about a job opening. A job? And you're interviewing for it? Yeah. Uh, are you going to... Point me in the right direction. Oh, gosh, yes, yeah, sorry, right this way. So, uh, you got any tips for me? Tips? Yeah, you know, like advice for the interview? Oh, um, just don't take anything Gray says to you personally, because she can be a little cold. She's saying she's mean. Oh, no, 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 not mean. She's just not very... Nice. Eli, you're here. Oh, and you brought me flowers. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I haven't seen you in a while, and I know Lily's your favorite. Jane, I see you've met my nephew, Eli. Uh, yeah, we nephew. Yeah, uh, Jane was actually just talking about you. No, oh, what'd she say? <sighs> Only that you're warm and gorgeous and incredibly talented. Is that right? That is right. Eli, come into my office. Jane, hold on my calls. It was uh, nice to meet you, Jane. Nephew. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, his name's Eli. Don't like the look of him. Well, you should probably keep that one to yourself. And why is that? Because he is Gray's nephew. And from the looks of it, he might also be India's new replacement. <laughs> Great. He is. Something you want to add? No. I, uh... Spit it out, Jane. I just... I feel a little silly saying this, but for a second there, I thought that I was in the running for India's job. You are. Where's Jane? My sister, Jane? Yes, Ben, your sister, Jane. I heard she went home early, and right after I had that talk with her, did you know about this? Yes. I'm aware of her departure. What'd she say? She said some things about cramps. Cramps? Cramps, you know, lady stuff. I'm not that familiar with lady stuff, so I'd, I'd really rather not discuss it. Uh-huh. I heard Jane went home. Is she okay? She'll be fine. Just a cold. Is that right? 
Mm-hmm. A cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, peace. White chocolate half calf latte, your favorite. And I picked up the tear sheets that you wanted this morning, and I got you a reservation tomorrow night at Per Se. I thought you said they were booked up for the next two months. They are. I pulled some strings. Well done, James. And I thought you might like to take a look at these. What's this? Some sketches of mine, just some new ideas for the accessories line. I'll take a look. Impressive. You're still here. Yeah, Grace said I should stick around a while and check out the place. Is that right? It is. That's nice. Hey. Hi there, Jane. Um, can I ask you a question? You just did. What? You asked if you could ask me something. Technically, that is a question. Sometimes you are way too British. Yeah, there, there's no such thing. Okay, come on. I'm serious, Jeremy. At your service, Miss Grimmie. Okay, so about this whole job offer thing, do you really think it's a good idea? In what respect? Well, in that I'm an assistant, and the closest I've come to studying design is, I don't know, the endless hours I spend poring over the Versastyle.com and fashion magazines every weekend. This is a huge job. Why would Gray trust me to handle something like this? Because you can. Eli seems way more qualified, and he's... He's nothing to worry about. You have to run your own race, Jane, and you... Well, you've got what it takes. You really think so? I know so. Plus, you deserve it. Thank you. I just really don't know if this is the right thing for me right now. Are you insane? I have a lot of stuff going on at home. My best friend was away for a while, and now he's back, and... Is this the same friend from the fashion show? Isn't he the reason you turned me down? Jeremy, we've talked about this. You're my mentor and my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No need to rub it in. All I'm saying is, I don't know if it's the right time to leave him... to leave him behind. That is why he was so upset. I'm not really following the chain of thought here. Oh, it's it's nothing. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for all of your help. You're welcome. I was parched. You're avoiding me. What are you talking about? I, I'm trying to keep things discreet between us, you know? You were lying to me about Jane. What? No. Billy says she has a cold. That was me. You said she's cramped. Did not. I have to go. Go where? I have to go to the house to check on Jane. You've got me really worried about these cold cramps. That's a great idea. I'm going with you. And if Jane isn't homesick and Beth, that internship of hers is over. Jane home what? now. What happened? The collective brain power of you and me, that's what happened. Well, you said cramps, didn't you? There's no time for blame. Yes, I said cramps. No, you just couldn't stay out of it, could you? I told Rita that I was going home to check on Jane, and now she's coming with me. So Jane has to be home, in bed, sick and fast. I thought we were staying out of it. Can't you just call her? I've called her like a dozen times. It keeps going to voicemail. Oh, Ben. Just the whole racing to save Jane thing, it's not really my problem anymore. Look, I'm not happy about this either. And I know you two are going through some sort of weird time right now, but she needs us. Otherwise, this whole fashion dream thing of hers is out the window. She's my sister. I can't bring myself to do that to her. Can you? I can't compete with this guy. Trust me, she's not going to hire her nephew. Are you sure about that? Look, I didn't go to school for design. 
Right. And I know my technique isn't exactly refined like the rest of you extremely talented people. But uh, <laughs> given the chance, I might be able to bring something new to the table here at Donovan Decker. Something different. Something fresh. Now, I, I heard that you were already selling your own line. Is that true? I do what I can. You know, mostly right now I'm just selling stuff at like pop-up shops or on the street. Honestly, the money I make barely covers materials, but I love it. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, I think so too, Garnet. Are you listening to this? He's perfect. He's charming and talented and good-looking. It's not that good-looking. I'm serious, Jeremy. There's no way I actually have a chance of getting this job. Not if I'm up against a guy like that, which I am. Please, it's a courtesy, Jane. A family obligation. This is Gray we're talking about. She's not going to actually hire anyone she has to be nice to. <laughs> good point. You are probably right. Yeah, I'm always right. <laughs> leaving to check on Jean 20 minutes ago. And we are. I just have to grade a few more of these puppies, and we are on our way. Ten minutes, Ben, and then we're going. Understood? Understood. And if I find out you're lying, we're going to have a serious issue. Pleased to announce that I have found the perfect person to fill the vacancy left by India Jordan. It's you. What? You're certain of it. This person has proven that they have exceptional creativity and style. This person is destined to be a rising star here at Donovan Decker. This person is... Wait! What, Jane? I'm sorry. I just... I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I'd like to take myself out of the running. I'm so sorry, Gray. I really am grateful. I just... I don't think I'm ready for this. And I agree. Which is why I'm pleased to introduce our newest designer, Eli Chandler. Oh, ben said cramps, didn't he? Yeah, you know your brother doesn't think fast on his feet. This is true. And I'm a shawls on our way to your house to visit your sick bed. What do you think's faster enough? Fit their legs, we're gonna have to. You came for me. I did. And I'm not gonna let that be for nothing. Come on. We have to get you home now. Jane, I'm on my way to the house. I've stalled as long as I can. And I just can't keep lying to Rita. Your chariot awaits. <laughs> Drive. Now.
we should just let her sleep a little bit. Wait a minute. What is going on here? Oh, hey guys. I'm I'm feeling much <coughs> much better. I just have a cold <coughs> and cramps, so I just needed to double whammy. Hmm. We'll feel better, okay, Jane? Thanks, Miss Shaw. I'm sorry, Ben. For what? For the whole manhunt thing, coming down on you. Honestly, I feel terrible for questioning you, accusing you of lying. I don't know what got into me. I think you were just being the best guidance counselor in the history of guidance counselors. That's all. Thank you. Too close. Oh, tell me about it. Oh my gosh, and how about me turning down that job that I wasn't even being offered? So embarrassing. Eh, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> okay. It was pretty bad. I counted eight people cringing. Did you count me? <laughs> okay, nine. <laughs> oh. uh, I know you wanted that job. Oh. Honestly, I wasn't ready to leave being a teenager behind just yet. And I am definitely not ready to leave you. Two months away was a long time, Billy. I missed you. I missed you too, Janie. Being away was terrible and lonely. But knowing you'd be here waiting it's the only thing that got me through. I have to ask you. You said it's you. And I need to know if you meant... I meant... That it's you, Janie. You are my best friend. very best. I don't want that to ever change. Because that's what's most important, right? Yeah. this haired style director at any cost. Donovan is depending on it. Hello, losers. That's right. I'm the one you've been waiting for. Where's Jane? I can't wait to catch up.